All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to play Spaceport with a controller. Whew. Sorry about that. All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up a controller, PS4, DualShock, to play Spaceport with. So, here we go. All right, first things first. First, you need a beautiful background on your computer. It's a mandatory. Next, you're gonna want to go to Google and type in DS4 controller for Windows. Well then, <clears throat> hit download now, and what, what, I'm recording it. <laughs> Wait, do it again. <laughs> it's going in the video for sure. You don't need to sign up or anything. You just want to download it. So per, per, click on the DS4 window zip. You can close this window now. Go to your downloads. Click on DS4 windows. Extract all. DS4 windows. Pick where you want settings. Profiles to be saved. Program folder. Uh, controller driver setup finish okay step one install the ds4 driver installing you don't need to install 360 driver if you have windows uh 10 so if you have windows 7 or below you need to install this hit finish close this this window reappears after installing you may need to reboot your PC okay that's right so now I'm gonna stop it and reset it guys reset the computer all right so after restarting your DS4 Windows open a program folder and your controller you just plug into the back of your computer by USD cable the same cable that your controller plugs into your PS4 with you, you can actually use that same cable and plug it into the back to a USB port and this will come up right here you can actually go in here and edit it uh, I like doing these kind of colors uh, you can do whatever you want mess around with it none of this is important all you need to do is have this downloaded and on your computer so that your PC thinks that your PS4 controller is an Xbox controller. All right, next is downloading Rewast. So go to Google. Rewast.com. You're gonna either wanna download the 14 day free trial or buy it for $7. I just bought it for $7. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Just follow the prompts. And once you get it downloaded, um, I already had it downloaded, so that's why it's already on my PC. Once you get it downloaded, uh, restart your, con your computer again. Now that you've restarted after you've downloaded Rewast, see, I already had it, so I can't um, reinstall it. I wanted to show you guys how to do that, but it's not actually necessary. All right, so after restarting your computer, um, after 
after okay so after you install rewazd it's pretty straightforward installation process once you get it installed that's when the fun stuff starts anyways so you install rewazd pay for the seven dollar subscription um, or you can do a 14 day free trial just like it says on their website double click there we go all right so it'll open the web page just close the web page because behind it you'll have the keyboard mapping uh, right right behind it open up so just maximize this guy all right so this is where you do all the mapping as you can see I have put spacebar to my left trigger and well my L1 or my left bumper I guess I put uh, right shift which is how I used to fire my rockets on spaceport I put that on right bumper or R1 I've got obviously my um, WIS WSAD over here on What's the fucking word? What's the word? On the... Analog stick! God! Shoot! Getting Alzheimer's over here. And then on the D-pad, I also did WAS, WSAD. Funny that they put it in that order. It's literally called rewazed, and they put it in that order. That's funny. Anyway, that's what it is. And then I put enter as the X button, which is confirm, obviously. And that allows me to navigate uh, the Spaceport website pretty quickly and easily. The only thing I need the mouse for when I'm playing Spaceport is to um, confirm the entry into my wallet after a game is over. So... There's literally one click and then the rest is all the rest I can do on my controller. So that is how it's done. Once you set up all that right here, um, here I'll just show you how you can click on it and then you can like choose what key to put on it. If you can watch, you can see it change. Of course, I want left to be A. And then over here, same thing. Like I said, you click on it with your mouse and then you use your keyboard to put whatever you want there. And that is how it's done, guys. Hit apply. PS4 remote play for keyboard and mouse is active in slot one. Close it out. Open your browser. Click on spaceport. Hear that awesome music start to load. And hit play. Oh, hey, let's see if the uh, servers allow us to do full screen now without it being slow. Nope, still slow. But as you can see, moving with the controller. And the reason I like to put my uh, laser on my left trigger and my rockets on my right trigger is because that way you don't use your right thumb for anything. There's only two buttons. You may as well have the quick access to your triggers. There, there's a reason why you don't shoot pistols with your thumb. It doesn't react as quick. Anyway, guys, that's how it's done. Uh, I hope this has been a thorough enough walkthrough for you to follow. I know I couldn't show you all the steps because I already had some of this stuff installed. But the installation process should be pretty straightforward. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch at RoyHale3. Uh, Twitch.tv slash RoyHale3. And you can find me hanging out in the Spaceport Discord uh, all the time. So yeah, if I don't see you... And there, I guess I'll talk to you in the comments. So have a good one.